Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, hopefully y'all are having a great uh, Thanksgiving. But um, just because it's Thanksgiving doesn't mean that farmers can take a day off. Well, I got that grain cart unloaded. Um, <clears throat> um, Hobbs was uh, had the 6400, another gravity wagon already in the field. I'm getting Josh, I'm gonna head back to the field uh, and uh, load this sucker back up again and come back, do it all over again. Well, this is my first time in a new hauling tractor. Uh, this belongs to another farmer down the road. Um, not sure of the horsepower, but I'm guessing probably up there about the 140, 150 range. But man, this tractor is sweet. <coughs> it rides good, handles that fully loaded gravity wagon full good. Um, it's got the auto shift and all that. So, don't tell nobody, but even though I'm a John Deere man, this thing's nice. So old Gary's still working on he is. Um, said something with the, um, Lee said the feeder house chain, something was, uh, <coughs> maybe going long and it'd be taking corn, but then, um, like it clog up, so don't know if it's the chain or, uh, maybe the clutch or what it may be, but, um, if he's to get that one fixed, they'll be running, uh, both of these uh, Gleaner F2 combines through the field and really be shelling out the corn. Uh, Josh said the corn is so good right now that uh, he can only make um, a trip down and about halfway back before he, he needs unloaded. So I ain't going out here and uh, just play the waiting game and wait on him to come back down to me and get unloaded.
way over there looks like his dad's got going and uh walking through here it's I'm sure it's taking all the kernels off the cob and uh really not much I'll survive. <coughs> not sure what the um bushes per acre is at the moment but uh so far things run like a well old machine This way, uh, Gary's opened up the, the middle of the field, but he's come back from the other direction. So I'm just kind of hanging out here in the middle because I don't know who I'm going to have to unload first, but I'm in a good spot to where I can go um, to this end of the field since they're both down here at the same time. Sure is looking good, I can tell you that. for uh, um, supper with his family, so it's just me. New Holland, Red Wagon. But those two combines, but um, it's starting to sprinkle just a little bit, so I'm not sure um, how long they'll want to run, but I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and get this one unloaded and uh, head back to the field and See if they want to keep going or wait it out and see if the rain's going to do, but it's starting to pick up a little now. be able to keep up so I'm to keep adjusting them gates there to um, adjust the full of corn.
two compartment um, gravity wagon um, so to keep from that uh, spout. Where's my hand at? Right there. Uh, from that running over, spill any more on the ground, I'm having to unload one side at a little bit of time and then open the other side and back and forth. Uh, the front one's the only one that's left to go. This wagon empty. Um, head back down the road to the field. The rain, it's kind of stopped for a minute. Um, but uh, I can go ahead and head on down that way. And um, since Brian had to leave, I have to jump in the 6400 in the gravity wagon, bring it, see if I can get it unloaded for the next rain. Sure what he's doing. I don't know. It don't look like he's full, but that boy, it's hard telling. <clears throat> uh, Josh told me to leave that other grain cart. About halfway down through there, because uh, his dad, uh, I didn't get it on camera, but his dad actually stopped and got in the 6400. So I'm going to go down here and uh, he's got this old orange wagon filled up and ready to go. And uh, um, in case it rains, uh, he just want me to go ahead and get it headed to the grain bins and try and get unloaded. But I don't know if he'll be able to make it to the... He's getting full already. Man, it's some good corn, boys. Um, this, uh, this bigger gravity wagon, compared to that other one, uh, I just unloaded a little bit ago. This one's <coughs> a heck of a lot easier to unload. It's got a, a longer unload spout, and it's just easier to hit that little tub over the auger. But, uh, um, of course, I want to keep that auger full, but I don't want to keep it too full because then it bog it down. But then if I don't put enough corn in it, um, I don't know if y'all heard there a little bit ago, but the auger will just hit the inside of the... And if I uh, keep the RPMs right and just right amount of corn, um, it's kind of quiet if it makes sense.
go back over here. Um, got this truck um, or truck gravity wagon unloaded. Looks like they've got this field done. But uh, here comes uh, Josh's dad, a little service truck and trailer. And uh, looks like Josh is in the 6400. So. Looks like we're maybe calling it, calling it a night. All right, I guess the <coughs> plan is uh, Gary just want me to take the um, wagon down here at this other barn, and uh, Josh is gonna uh, take that 6400 and get in, get it unloaded as he said. Um, right now, it's uh, it's at the point that it's too wet to combine it. So, um, or this other field across the road, I'd say it's about 15 acres or so. <clears throat> but um, Gary said he may. Uh, what he may do is uh, bring the 1370 and uh, that 25 foot disc over here and get this field worked up um, before that one across the road is dry enough. But uh, I'm going to end the video here. Um, thanks for going along for the ride. Golly. Gear down. Uh, thanks for going along for the ride with me this evening. Um, had a lot of great response on that last video uh, when they was working ground up there by the river. So uh, when they called and asked if I could run this gravity wagon for them tonight, I said, said sure. Um, so I brought the camera along. That way, um, y'all can see something a little bit different again on the channel. Golly. Bumpies, I'll get out. But, um, alright. <clears throat> Park this wagon over here and, uh, head to the barn and, uh, hopefully head home or my, over at my mamaw's and get me something good to eat because. You know, fat boys like me, we like to eat. But uh, <coughs> thanks for tuning in uh, here at the channel uh, this evening while uh, uh, we come over here at the Hicks Farms. Um, hopefully y'all have a great rest of your Thanksgiving and uh, weekend. But uh, if you haven't already, if you like the video, uh, please give uh, hit that little thumbs up down there that just lets me know and YouTube know that you uh, enjoyed this video but uh, also if you're new to the channel um, and you've seen a couple videos and you like them uh, hit that subscribe button then also the little bell excuse me off to the side that way it just sends you notification of uh, <coughs> when I make new videos of course all that's free um, all that does just sends a notification to your phone uh, whenever I post new videos. So uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm a little tired. Get this unhooked. Head back down the road. Um, but as always, we'll catch y'all on the next one.